Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel. I'm of course the Excessive Player and today we are up to episode number 61 of our Let's Play series here on Farm Simulator 19. Uh, before we get started, if we could quickly drop us a like on today's video, it would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So today, episode number 61, what are we doing? Well, we're just uh, having a bit of a sum up of what's going on. Uh, we've got all these potatoes on this field. Where the previous potatoes were planted, we need to plough the ground as well. But just moving across the field, we've got where the canola was planted, or rapeseed. That has been harvested and needs uh, cultivating over. It doesn't need any ploughing, so that's good. And of course, the same bit where you got the oats that we had as well, that needs... Uh, just cultivating over. So what we are going to do today is make a start on cultivating this field so that we can of course get uh, this entire field planted up with potatoes. We're going to have a couple of big massive piles of potatoes. Uh, moving on, we've got uh, the big field. That's all been uh, harvested now under a whole crop harvest. So that all needs cultivating over and then replanted up as well whether we keep that as a uh, an actual crop that we use or not I'm not sure but uh, we've also got the silage in here or the chaff is now 100% compacted as you can see we've got the uh, trailer left in here where we've uh, just finished that off and got all that compacted as well so that's got 860 uh, yeah, 868,000 litres of chaff in there ready to be fermented of course and then of course we've just got to get the yard tidied up and feed in the animals so today as I say let's get that field cultivated uh, we're going to need a tractor which should be in the shed just here I uh, may remember that we said about the John Deere 8400R, it's the big tractor of course and we have got the... which one's this? Is this the... that's the uh, planter isn't it? So where's the big cultivator? we not got a large cultivator? could have sworn we had one... I know what we did, we uh, had it on lease last time out didn't we? Oops, jumping up on the wagon there. So let's quickly head off down to uh, the store then. We'll go speak to them down there and we'll get a uh, cultivator. Again, this uh, John Deere 8400R. It's a massive... Uh, a bit of kit this one is, loads of power in this one, I think it's 450 horsepower so it should be able to pull one of the larger ploughs, uh, sorry, what large, blah, 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 larger cultivators, let's get our words out it's a good start to Monday morning but yeah, we'll uh, have to sort this one out and see what's going on really not sure why uh, we've not got the uh, a cultivator. You, I'm sure we had a big large one but uh, come to think of it I think we may have even hired it but never mind. Let's have a little look. Uh, where are we? Well, First of all let's have a look at the tractor. Make sure we've got plenty of horsepower in this one. It's the 80400 Yeah, the 8400, 450 horsepower. So, let's have a little look at cultivators then. We can get a nice big cultivator here. And that's the bed now that we had. That's 500 horsepower required. That's 500 horsepower as well. So that's 400 horsepower, but it's only 8 metres. So it looks like it's going to be this one that we're going to use. The best one we can use with the equipment, or rather the uh, 
then we'll buy that. £68,000. It gets expensive. But uh, here's, of course, the Amazon. Eight metres at a time. That was a good start to the day and the week. I need to buy equipment before we even start anything. There's beacons on whilst we're on the uh, road, of course. Head back to the farm and we can, as I say, start the cultivating process. We do need to plough over the field for, well, where the potatoes were. Just to give them uh, a freshen up. But as we say, it is going to have potatoes back on that field. I think if we plant one big crop of potatoes and then what we'll do is have a big massive potato pile somewhere. I have to get some uh, concrete put down for that. Turn those beacons off now, we're back. So we'll unfold this cultivator, as we say. Drop that there. I think it's a bit too far over to be honest. That's a bit better. And then we'll plough the rest out afterwards, of course. So, yeah. Today's job, of course, is cultivating. We'll get this done and. Uh, Then we'll be ready to do some ploughing in the next episode. The good thing is we've not got uh, loads of ploughing to do. It is just that section on the left there. And of course we can cultivate that over and get everything planted up. So yeah, as we say, today is of course Monday. How's your weekend been? Have you had a good weekend? Did you enjoy last week's videos? Let us know all the answers in the comment section down below. Drop your comments, let us know. We always enjoy reading your comments. We do read all the comments um, because we have to uh, filter them out. We don't always get a chance to reply to them all though. But uh, we do always read your comments. Lift that up, spin round. And here we go again. So we're going to hire a worker for this just to keep a straight line just for the time being. And then we can get a uh, nice screenshot for today. Not quite sure the best uh, sort of angle for this one though. Want to get make sure we get a picture of the uh, cultivator, of course. I mean, as that's the, uh, the new bit of kit for today. Didn't uh, think that we needed to buy any more equipment, but uh, obviously we did. Well, there we go. We've got uh, a couple of pictures done today. In fact, what we'll do, let's uh, get rid of that worker for a moment. Let's see how quickly we can actually get this done. <coughs> now we've got that edge where we should be. Let's. Uh, Spin round. Mm. 
Again, lots to get done today. Of course, we are also now on the uh, school holidays as well. So we've got uh, children around. So what we will be doing this next few weeks is, of course, pre-recording an awful lot of episodes so that we can still have our family time. But uh, keep yourself updated on our Facebook page and Twitter channel for every time that we go live with our live streams, of course. We are aiming to uh, do a few live streams this week. So by uh, missing a row each time, it in theory saves you time turning around, and lifting the plow or lifting the cultivator and turning around and putting the cultivator back down, etc. Just uh, a constant movement. does tend to save uh, a bit of time, not much, but uh, every little time helps, of course. What we're going to do here is just turn right and then start filling in the gaps, of course. Not sure if it is actually quicker or not to do it this way, but uh, it feels like it's quicker, and that's all that matters, of course. So yeah, on uh, Saturday this week, we are going to be releasing a video at three three p.m. UK time. That uh, it's going to be a brand new series, of course, from uh, feedback of people we've spoke to so far about that series. It is uh, going to be a, a good one. People are going to enjoy that, hopefully. Again, we will require your feedback on that in the comment sections. So please let us know. But uh, in the meantime, look out for that. As you can see, we're getting done filling in the gaps now. So then what we'll do is another couple of rows. And then fill in the gaps again. We are of course going to need uh, need to get this all planted up as well sometime soon. Don't want to uh, obviously cultivate over and just leave it to sit here.
as long as we get uh, all the jobs done today. Or certainly all of this field cultivated today. Then uh, we'll be ready just to do that little bit of ploughing. Get that bit cultivated as well. And then uh, this field will be ready to plant up. As we say, we've got all those boxes of potatoes there. You can use those as uh, your seed, of course. You replant potatoes in order to uh, grow more potatoes. So then what we'll do, as I say, we're going to plant up this entire field with potatoes and then we'll have a massive uh, stockpile of potatoes for future of course again obviously if we get a nice uh, great demand for potatoes then uh, we'll be laughing be well in the money with, for that we've not really done too much with the great demands in this series so far. As I say, we are up to episode number 61 today. As we said right at the start, this is going to be a long series. I think uh, it's where we go wrong with some of our uh, series in the past. Uh, we just uh, didn't spend long enough on the actual farms that we we was running, so As nice as it is to uh, keep changing map, etc. Farming new areas. I think you do need to spend a bit, of, quite a bit of time on one particular map. So finding the right map for you is, of course, all important. Yeah, the uh, John Deere 8400 is doing well here. Certainly not struggling to pull this one. Again, what we do is miss a couple of rows, and then we can, of course, fill in the gap again. This is the uh, the way that we used to do it with the uh, contract emissions on uh, FS17, Farm Simulator 17. You used to uh, need to get the field done as quickly as you can in order to get a time bonus. And obviously you could miss uh, a percentage of the field on those missions you didn't always have to do all of the fields it was just the uh, the bulk of the field it was obviously if it's your own field then yeah you've still got to do the whole field it's not going to get done for you Yeah, we'll uh, crack on, as I say. In fact, I'm not sure if this is going to go over a couple of episodes. As I say, we do record, what, 20, 25 minutes per episode? Thereabouts. Just to... Uh, we know you guys don't always have the time to watch uh, long episodes, so we try and uh, keep it relatively short. So looking at the time, we're already at 20 minutes. I know we had a slow start to today. Just sort of summing up what's uh, happening this week. But uh, 
I think what we may do is carry this cultivating over into the next episode. I'll get uh, everything finished, of course. So we need to uh, pre-record a few episodes this week. As it is, uh, as I say, school holidays now. Spend, obviously, the time with our children. Yeah, we are certainly getting done today. Let's see, working through this field. course be uh, needing to put some fertilizer on this ground as well and that'll all come once we've got it planted put down some pellet fertilizer to help the uh, crop start shooting of course and then uh, we will of course be spraying it as well much uh, later on But yeah, I think that will uh, be it for today's episode. As I say, well, I think we're going to have to uh, finish this off in tomorrow's episode. But uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed this one today. If you have, remember of course to uh, drop us a like on today's video. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button if you are new to our channel. And if, of course, you could share today's video with family and friends or anybody else you think may enjoy, it would also be very much appreciated. But like I would say, that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall uh, see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, and bye for now.